All right, today what we're going to do is we're still working with applying properties of positive and negative exponents, right? Um, today in particular, we're going to look at zero and negative exponents. So let's take a look at the first example, okay? With something like this, if you remember, um, how many threes are in the numerator? Three. Three. How many are in the denominator? Two. Two. And so what did we say we needed to do? Subtract. We needed to subtract them. So if you remember, it was three, and then it was three minus two, and that gave me three to the first, or just three. And you remember that it was top heavy, what, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are more threes in the numerator, so it just became three. Well, let's take a look at the next example, because you, so you'll know that it's a little bit different, okay? With something like this, um, I can do the same type of thing. I take three, notice that the two is in the numerator, and I minus three. So what's three minus, or a two minus three? Negative one. Negative one. But I don't like negative exponents. So if you remember, back when we talked about the first example, I said there's one more three in the numerator, right? Okay, the second problem, are there more threes in the numerator or the denominator? Denominator. How many more? One. One. So this is the same thing as? One over three. One over three. That's correct. And so you go, well, how many threes do I have? I have one more three. Where is it located? It's in the denominator, and it's one third because you need a one up above. You can't just leave a point. So when you have a negative exponent, we flip the fraction to get a positive exponent. And we'll talk a little bit about that as we go. So if that's like, uh, I don't get it, we'll talk about it, okay? So let me tell you a little bit of story about this two, okay? Two is uh, on their couch. They're playing Xbox. They're having a great time, okay? You'll notice that the exponent is negative, right? So he's playing Xbox, he's having a great time, and all of a sudden the tornado sirens go off. Okay? And he's freaking out. Oh my gosh, the sky is green, and the wind is picking up, and he's starting to get scared, so he has negative thoughts. That's what the little negative three is, okay? So if you're upstairs and the tornado sirens go off, where do you go to feel safer? You go down in the basement, don't you? So two is so scared, he's going to go down into the basement, and as soon as he goes downstairs, his thoughts are positive. He's not scared anymore. He's all good. And he knows the tornado won't get him. He's got a different Xbox downstairs, and he'll just keep playing the game. Right? Now, the problem is, is for him to stay downstairs, I need a number up above. And so I need a placeholder, and it's got to be a 1, because if it was a 0, then the whole thing would be 0. Okay. Now we just go a little bit further. I'm going to keep the 1 up above in the numerator. 2 to the third power is 8. eight. And so my answer is 1 8. And that's how you show your work. And that's negative exponent. It's not terrible. No. All right. Let's keep going. Here's another example. Again, I don't like the way this is written, so I'm going to write it as 1 fourth to the negative 3. Now, there are two different ways of looking at this. But since the uh, uh, fraction is inside the parentheses, okay, what you do is you take your fraction and you flip it. So your fraction then becomes 4 over 1 to the third power. So then what you do is like we've done before, you distribute it. So it's four to the third over one to the third. Four to the third is 64 over one, which is just 64. So if it's the whole fraction, you can flip the whole fraction. Not scary at all. This is all good. All right, let's keep going. Now, I got zero to the negative two power, right? Okay, so zero's upstairs, and he got scared, so where did he go? He went downstairs, 
And then the two becomes positive, right? Because he feels safe. What do I put up above in the numerator? One. A one. What's zero times zero? Zero. Okay, what's one divided by zero? Zero. zero. It's not zero oh, it's undefined. undefined. It's undefined. Very nice. So you're going to bring it through and go like that. You were ready. I didn't. Because if you put it in your calculator, what would you get? Error. error. You get error and never write error. <laughs> error. Error. Yeah. Error. 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 All right, let's keep going. Now, students on this, they have trouble with this because they don't understand why this works. Okay, so let me show you why this works. Okay, we said that anything to the zero power is, it is one. And so you just put one, but students don't understand why. Let me show you why, okay? Let's say, for example, I have the number one. And let's say I've got three to the second power over three to the second power, because they're the same, right? Mm -hmm. They're the same. Okay, and I said that I could subtract those exponents, right? Mm -hmm. So three, and I subtract the two minus two, which is three to the? Zero. That's why anything to the zero power is always one. This is the reason why it works. Whenever you see it to the zero power, you just put one. one, and we're done. Okay, now let's keep going on this one. Notice that the negative 10 is in parentheses to the zero power, so this is one. Because the negative is inside. Well, what would happen if it's on the outside? What if it was like this? Then it would be a negative 1 because the 10 to the 0 power is 1, but the negative is out front. So you just have to be careful where that negative is placed. Okay. Alright, do one more. A couple more. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now we're bringing back some of the other slides and some of the other rules. So notice that I have the same base, yes? So I'm going to go negative 5 in parentheses, and what do I do with the exponents? I add them. What's 4 plus a negative 4? Zero. It's 0. So I'm going to put 0, and then what is my answer? 1. one. So you're not just going to put that in your calculator and let your calculator do it. I'm actually going to see that work. Okay, so make sure that you do it. I'm going to see 5 to the 0, and then I'm going to see 1. Questions? Right. Let's keep going. What do I do first on this one? Hmm? Distribute, yes. So I end up with 5 to the 5 to the 4th. 5 to the 4th is 625. So I need that middle step because that tells me you understand it. Don't just plug it in your calculator. Now you could plug it in your calculator to check it. That's not a problem, but I need that middle step. All right. I don't like the way this is written, so let's rewrite this. Now, what happens if the negative is in the denominator? Well, 4 was downstairs, okay? He was watching a movie, and he was doing okay, and then all of a sudden, part of the movie got really scary, okay? I think you're like 4 years old, and you're downstairs, and the lights went out, and you're watching a scary movie. What do you do? You run upstairs to go see mom and dad, right? Mm -hmm. So 4 does not like where he's at. He's got negative thoughts. So he's going to go upstairs with 1. So I'm going to go 1 times 4, and what happens when he runs upstairs? He becomes positive. positive. And I don't have to put anything down below because there's nothing down there. Okay, what's 4 squared? 16. 16, so my answer is 16. 
So if it has a negative exponent, it doesn't like where it's at, whether it's upstairs in the house or downstairs in the house. As soon as it goes upstairs or goes downstairs, they change the exponent. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This is three squared over three to the negative one. Now, does three squared like where he's at? Yeah. He's fine upstairs. Yeah, so he's gonna stay upstairs. What about three to the negative one? Does he like where he's at? No. So what does he do? He comes upstairs. Do I need to put anything downstairs? No, I could put a one. It doesn't do anything, but I could. So I get three to the, which is 27. Just think about the process. Okay, does six like where he's at? No. Six has got a positive exponent, doesn't he? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave six upstairs. He's fine. Does F like where he's at? Yes. Yep. F doesn't have a negative exponent. He likes where he's at. He's fine. Does G like where he's at? No. No. He's scared. So he's gonna go down below. And it's gonna be G to the positive four because he went downstairs. He's not scared anymore. Tornado sirens are going off, but he's safe. Okay, now, the two, does he like where he's at? Yeah. No, he doesn't have any negative exponents, so I'm gonna leave two up front. Does F like where he's at? No. No, so he's gonna go upstairs with his F friend, and it becomes F to the squared. second, or squared. Does G like where he's at? No. Yes, he's gonna stay down below. Essentially, what we did was reorder. Okay, now I'm going to bring my. Yep, I'm going to simplify my exponents. So it's six f to the third over two g to the. We're okay. Questions? Hey, okay, now can I reduce my numbers? Yeah. Yes. What do they become? It becomes three, and the six is in the numerator, so the three is going to be up there because it's bigger. So it's going to be three f to the third over g to the fifth. And I'm done. Questions? Okay, move on. Now, there are two different ways of handling this. I'm going to distribute. I think it's easier. So I'm going to go 3 to the negative 2, y to the negative 2, z to the negative 4. So I distributed, didn't I? Okay, now, does the 3 like where he's at? No, he's going to go down below. Does y like where he's at? No, he's going to go downstairs. Does he like where he's at? No. No, they're all scaredy cats of that storm, so they're going to go downstairs. Which is good. Like, if there's a tornado, it's good to go downstairs. My dad goes outside. Yeah, yeah. Like, my dad goes on the phone and he, like, goes. Yeah, no, they're not going outside. They're scared. Okay, now what goes up above? One. A one. Okay, now, am I done? No. No. So I'm going to go one. What do I get here? Nine y squared z to the fourth. And you notice my z has a little line through it, so it doesn't look like a two. It kind of looks like a two. Okay, now we're we all right? Questions? Okay. What do I do on this one first? I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to leave my numerator. Then I get 2 to the w to the x to the x. 
Okay, so I distribute it. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to reorder, aren't I? <clears throat> okay, so does the top two like where he's at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, does W like where he's at? No, no so I'm going to put him down below. So it's W cubed. Does X to the first like where he's at? Yes. Yeah. He's going to stay put. Does the 2 squared like where he's at? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to keep him up down below. Does W squared like where he's at? Yes. 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 Okay. Does X squared like where he's at? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to simplify my exponents, okay? So I'm going to leave the 2 up above for right now. Um, I got x to the first up in the numerator, and I've got x squared down below. So is x on the top or x on the bottom? It's bottom heavy, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave him down here. I'm going to leave my 2 squared down here, and my w becomes w to the fifth. Why did I put w before x? Because alphabetical order. alphabetical order, W, X, Y, Z, right? Does it have to be? No. no. It has to be in the denominator, but it doesn't have to be in that order. Okay, now what about the twos? There's how many more twos in the denominator than the numerator? There's one, because there's one up here, right? So I'm going to go 2, W to the fifth, X, and what goes in the numerator? A one. Dun, 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 dun. Are we all right? Questions? Yep, we're going to get to the homework. All right.